So good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for joining us this afternoon. Um, we have invited you all here for the opening of a satellite legal aid office for the Legal Aid Society of Westchester here at the Westchester County Department of Corrections Education Center. We have seen over the last few years a great deal of focus on reforming our criminal justice system, and part of that is how we manage persons in correctional custody. Historically, this department has been a leader in instituting holistic, innovative, and progressive reforms. Um, which have enhanced institutional security and local public safety via our reentry programs and our evidence-based support programs. Westchester County Department of Corrections partnership with Legal Aid Society represents the kind of forward thinking and strategic collaboration involving multiple stakeholders that would enhance legal services and social community support services for detainees and sentenced persons that are clients of legal aid. This idea came about during the end of 2018 and in the beginning of January 2019 after meeting with Mrs. Sherry Levin Wallach and Administrative Law Judge James Heyer, whom were then serving on the New York State Bar's Task Force on Incarceration, Release Planning, and Programs. And out of those discussions that quite frankly turned into really a lot of thought work sessions on how we as a correctional department could partner with legal aid to lessen the anxiety of defendants that are experiencing their criminal case at the same time what they're incarcerated, and the importance of identifying safety nets and supportive resources that can strengthen the Department of Corrections discharge planning and increase the number of returning citizens that we could provide discharge planning to. Our Department of Corrections team, led, co-led by our Warden of Programs, Walter Macchio, and our Director of Programs, Nori Padilla, under the direction of Commissioner Spano, worked with our internal programs team, Ms. Pina Caso, and our Technical Services Unit Commander, DOC Captain Christopher Smith. They developed a plan working with various staff from Legal Aid to operationalize our Legal Aid clients, um, Legal Aid office here at the jail. Um, and they worked with support services while at DOC. And I want to thank our DOC team for making this happen. I also want to thank Sherry Levin Wallach and Claire, Claire Degnan for your leadership and providing staffing and technology hardware to make this idea a reality. Having legal aid attorneys and social workers embedded in the jail to provide services to our shared clients is a pivotal moment and embodies how we are operationalizing criminal justice reform strategies in Westchester County. Meaningful access to legal representation is a vital element to creating a dignity-based criminal justice system that promotes justice and hope for redemption. So now I'd like to take the time to introduce Department of Corrections Commissioner Joseph K. Spano, whose leadership has allowed our department to evolve into an evidence-based practice correctional institution, and he'll discuss the importance of our community partners and our other resources that really have made us the most progressive and most successful jail in the nation. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, you. Thank you, Deputy Commissioner Molina, and, uh, and a special thank you to you and the DOC team who participated it, with this initiative and bringing it together. I mean, you did amazing work, um, but that's been the trend the last two years, yes, and yes. it's something we've been very excited about. And I mentioned the last two years because, you know, these programs don't happen without the support of our county executive and his team. From day one, they have given us the support, the resources we need to make this, this program and others um, possible. When, uh, when we got here last March, two Marches ago, yes. yeah, time flies, um, this department had 25 programs in place, which is a lot for a local jail. Fast forward, this is the 33rd rehabilitation and reentry program that we have in place. And like many of the others, uh, it took a lot of time. And that's what we do. You know, we take our time. We carefully vet these initiatives. We work with great partners. Uh, we did it last year when we opened a new state-of-the-art detoxification unit. We did it when we opened the My Brother's Keepers uh, mentoring unit. Uh, it's crawl, walk, run for us, and we do that for a reason. We want to get it right. At the end of the process, we want to make sure that we have meaningful programs, programs that have a positive impact on the population that we serve. And I know this initiative has only been in place now for three or so weeks, but the, uh, the early feedback has been tremendous. And I can't say enough about our partners and friends from, 
the Legal Aid Society of Westchester County. Claire, you and Sherry and members of your team, I mean, it's remarkable what you've done to support this initiative. This is a leap of faith for you and your organization. It really is for, to make a commitment to embed four days a week to embed representatives from your agency here at Westchester DOC and our campus is a real game changer and it just speaks to the commitment that you and your team have to supporting incarcerated men and women and it's a real game changer and it's, uh, it's something we're very proud of. Also want to mention the work that the New York State Bar Association did to support this initiative and as DC Molina mentioned, we also had great participation from the uh, Westchester Human Rights Commission and we can't forget our friends and Commissioner Byrne from the IT department because what they did to spin up the technology here to make this a, a real impressive program um, was critical. So that being said, um, Claire, I would invite you up to say a few words. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It really is impressive. This um, Department of Corrections is incredible and the trust that we have with them and they have with us is really um, different from any place else that you'd find. I have incredible coworkers, I have incredible support, incredible people in the commissioner and the deputy commissioner, but all of this was really the brainchild of Sherry Levin Wallach. So I'm gonna turn it over to her, she's my deputy in legal aid, and, uh, and but for her insight, foresight, and passion, we wouldn't be standing here today. So um, I'm gonna let her say a few words and say thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for being here. Um, again, I wanna thank the Department of Corrections, um, working with DC Molina over the last, oh, it's almost a year now, I think, yeah. um, has been really a treat. Um, and Commissioner Spano for all of your support. It's been, it's been really amazing and impressive. And the DOC staff, um, everybody that we've worked with has really worked together with us to make sure that this launched effectively and that we really are working to help our clients. And that's what this is about. It's about providing an opportunity for those individuals who are incarcerated here to feel like they have some control over their lives and that they have the ability to make decisions, such as the simple decision of, can I meet with my lawyer? Um, without having to make phone calls, without having to wait, uh, it provides them with a new access to justice uh, that they didn't have before we had this office here. Additionally, we have been able to provide the um, clients with additional reentry services, earlier reentry services, services for reentry that will follow them if they leave here and go to state prison. And it gives them a basis upon which that they can continue a positive movement back into our communities at a later time in, in their lives. And that's what's most important for those men and women who are incarcerated, is that they can re-enter into our societies and be productive members of our communities. And with everybody in this room and the support of the Human Rights Commission, we are able to assist in that process and make that process better for them. Uh, I, I have to go back for a moment and, and, and really thank James Heyer, who's here today, who Deputy Commissioner mentioned, Melina mentioned earlier. Um, he and I worked very closely in the initial stages of this project, and he was at every meeting here at the jail uh, with the Deputy Commissioner, just trying to figure out how we were gonna make this happen. So I appreciate his time um, and the support that he gave to this project as well. And I have to thank my boss, Claire Dagnan, for all the support that she's given to us. And I have to thank the Legal Aid Society staff because our staff is an incredible staff, our social work staff, our investigators, and, and most of all, in this, in this endeavor, our attorneys who have put themselves out there to try something new, to try something that they haven't done in the past. And every single one of them has stepped up to the challenge. And I am so proud to be working with all of them in this, in this endeavor. So thank you to the society, thank you to the Department of Corrections, um, thank you to all of the different groups within our county. This really shows an amazing collaboration that when we work together, we can really make a difference in every life of every individual who is facing the potential of time in, in both state prison 
and in the jails in Westchester County. It starts here for all of them. And without the support of this Department of Corrections, they wouldn't have the step up that they'll have moving on in their lives, whether it's back out into the communities or if they have to spend additional time in state prison. So thank you again, everybody, for all the work that you've put into this. And we really look forward to the continued uh, efforts and the support that we can give to our clients. Great. Thank you, everyone.